All right, guys, welcome to Sasumi Crypto and Tech. My name is Solomon Gift, and in this channel, we talk about everything relating to blockchain, cryptocurrencies, dApps, protocols, and also positioning yourself for airdrops and maximizing the most of this ecosystem. So, guys, today we'll be looking at um, this new blockchain and how to position yourself for airdrop on this new blockchain that is yet to launch its mainnet. So, basically, guys, SU blockchain is actually an extremely new blockchain that is built with move programming language and the mainnet isn't live yet but the testnet is actually live and the devnet so we're walking you through how you can be able to download one of the SU wallets and set up your your wallet for the testnet and devnet so that you can be able to interact with dApps that are built on the on this SU blockchain and which can enable you qualify for potential airdrops in the future. So we're looking at one of the wallets currently built on the SU network, which is known as Sweet Wallet. It's pronounced as Sweet Wallet. So yeah, as you can see on my screen, I have the site open sweet.app, spelled as S-U-I-E-T dot app. So you can see it here clearly. It's pronounced as Sweet. So it's it's built on SU blockchain, designed for everyone with everything open sourced. So guys, this is actually a desktop wallet and it, over time it will be made available on iOS and also Android device, but for now it's strictly desktop. So it's very easy to use wallet, you can make use of it to claim your testnet tokens or dev tokens and also mint NFTs and track your portfolio, send and receive NFTs and you can access your wallet via Face ID or Touch ID basically it gives you all the functions of um, like trust wallet basically but the only difference is this was actually built to run on seal network which is seal blockchain so guys let's jump right into it so all you need to do now is um, you just need to click on chrome chrome beta just to be able to download the extension to your chrome browser or add the extension to your chrome browser so guys as you can see here it's just 4000 users that have downloaded this wallet so far so that gives you an idea that you're extremely early like i said this new blockchain the mainnet isn't live yet it's still on the test and dev net so this is the perfect opportunity for you to start positioning yourself for airdrops the the sweet wallet would obviously have an airdrop in the future if you look at their twitter page see them saying stuff about airdrops and all and the easiest way to qualify for that is for you to make use of the wallet in this initial stage so all you need to do is just click on add to chrome and add extension and in less than 30 seconds it should be set All right, so next we need to open the wallet. So as you can see, we have this sweet wallet actually. So here the wallet is open. Next you need to create a wallet. So you just need to select a random password. So I'll just make use of one for this. Next and you need to write down your recovery phrase very important to write this down guys very important so confirm and create yeah so the wallet is live and the wallet is active now it's working so here on my screen you can see on devnet your assets will be wiped periodically so it's obviously the testing phase of this blockchain and while they are testing 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 from time to time periodically they tend to wipe the, the whole blocks that have been created and start the testing afresh you get it's more like a, a routine test process that is done before till till they get confident about what they have achieved so far and they can now push the main net so here you can see the airdrop receive send so the airdrop will most likely be um, the facet tokens just to obtain facet tokens so it says um, airdrop succeeded so um, the next thing you can switch from devnet to testnet so devnet to be wiped from time to time but on testnet 
it wouldn't be wiped all the time it, I, i'm sure it it would rarely be wiped but you would want to familiarize yourself with both devnet and testnet although what is more important to users is actually the testnet the devnet is more for developers basically and for most of the persons that that will be trying this out it will be for airdrops or to position themselves to be able to start investing and utilizing the DeFi functionalities of this um, blockchain once it goes mainnet and then um, to interact with the new dApps that will be built so I, I trust most persons watching this video will be very much interested with the testnet because currently we have some dApps already running on this blockchain despite the fact that the mainnet isn't live so you want to click on airdrop to get um, some test tokens now to, to send out tokens you can click on send to receive you can click on receive or you can simply copy this address and give to anyone that wants to send you tokens now next this is for nft you can use this to mint nfts so currently there's no nft in this wallet but before you can start this you need to get you first which is the native token of the blockchain and here's for activities you can see history of your activities and here's for setting so you can choose to reset lock secure in terms of your password your private keys you can access all of that then the network devnet testnet you can also access that then if you want to add more wallets or change your wallet icons or the name of the wallet you go to edit then to add an extra wallet you'll have to do that from here and you can simply click on new to create a new wallet or import the important existing wallet so it's very straightforward guys so far so good this is most likely um, like the first version or the second version of um, this sweet wallet for the sub blockchain so i anticipate that once the the main net is launched maybe after the first three to four months this interface might be upgraded that's what i anticipate all right guys so so far so good we've been able to set up our sweet wallet on the su blockchain to position yourself for airdrops so in the next video we'll explain how you can be able to get testnet tokens and dev tokens and also another wallet service that you can make use of just in case you don't find the sweet wallet that convenient for your usage so thank you very much guys for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please this is like the phase one for positioning yourself for airdrops on the su blockchain or on the su network so guys please do make sure to follow through with the video leave a comment should you not understand any of the stuff we just spoke about but it's pretty straightforward you can easily leave a comment and once again don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks guys